Welcome to the video continuing the translation line by line into modern English of Much Ado About Nothing. Everything I go through comes from Mr. Prof's guide to Much Ado About Nothing, available at mrprof.com. Don Pedro then says, Come hither, Leonardo. What was it you told me of today? That your niece Beatrice was in love with Signor Benedict. In other words, come here, Leonardo. You know, what was it you told me today that Beatrice is in love with Benedict? And uh, Claudio says here, Oh, I stalk on, stalk on the foul sits. I did never think that lady would have loved any man. So in other words, quietly to Leonardo, he's saying, Come on, keep going. We're close to where our prey is hiding. And then out loud says, I never thought that woman would love any man. Leonardo says, no, nor I neither, but most wonderful that she should dote on Signor Benedict, whom she hath in all outward behaviour seemed ever to abhor. So in other words, no, I didn't think she would ever be in love, but it's amazing, even more amazing, that she should be in love with Benedict, because she acts like she hates him. Now Benedict, hidden away, says, is it possible, since the wind in that corner? So he's talking to himself and the audience, of course, as an extension of that, saying, well, is that possible? Is that really how it could be? And uh, Leonardo says, by my troth, my lord, I cannot tell what to think of it, but that she loves him with an enraged affection. It is past the infinite of thought. In other words, you know, I don't know what to make of it, but that she's so head over heels in love with him, it's beyond understanding. Don Pedro says, maybe she doth counterfeit. In other words, is she just pretending? And, and Claudio says, faith, like enough. Yes, that's probably it. But Leonardo says, oh God, counterfeit. There was never counterfeit of passion came so near the life of passion as she discovers it. In other words, pretending. Nobody could fake the passion so convincingly. Don Pedro says, why? What effects of passion shows she? In other words, well, you know, how, how do you mean? What, what's she doing that, that looks uh, like she's so in love? And uh, Claudio says, bait the hook well. This fish will bite. Again, this is quietly to Leonardo saying, well, come on. We're really going to get uh, uh, Benedict here. Leonardo says, what affects my lord? She will sit you. You heard my daughter tell you how. So this is comic because Leonardo cannot think of what to say here. So he says, well, you know, you know. Uh, what signs, my lord? It would amaze you, Claudio. My daughter told you about it, didn't she? Claudio says she did indeed. And Don Pedro says, how, how, pray you? You amaze me. I would have thought her spirit had been invincible against all assaults of affection. In other words... How? Tell me. You would amaze me. I would have thought she was immune to love. And Leonardo says, I would have sworn it had my lord especially uh, against Benedict. So yes, I, I would have sworn she was against love, especially love against Benedict. Now Benedict, listening to all this, says, I should think this a gull, but that the white-bearded fellow speaks it. Knavery cannot, sure, hide himself in such reverence. So what he's saying here is, I think... I would think this was just my friends winding me up if it wasn't for the old man, Leonardo. Uh, such a respectable man, you know, wouldn't have such mischief in him. He wouldn't be, you know, involved in such uh, a prank. Claudio says he's taken the infection, hold it up, again quietly to Don Pedro, saying he's swallowed our story, keep going. Don Pedro says, has she made her affection known to Benedict? In other words, has she told Benedict how she feels? And Leonardo says, no, and swears she never will. That's her torment. No, she's saying she's never going to tell him, and that's driving her crazy. Claudio says, tis true indeed, so your daughter says. Shall I, says she, that have so often counted him with scorn, write to him that I love him. So Claudio says, it's true. That's what Hero says. Beatrice asks, how can I, who so often was horrible to him, uh, now turn round and tell him in a letter that I love him. And Leonardo says, uh, this says she now when she's beginning to write to him, for she'll be up 20 times a night and there will she sit in her smock till she hath writ a sheet of paper, my daughter tells us all. In other words, well, that's uh, what she says whenever she starts writing to him. She gets up 20 times a night, she sits there in her nighty, beginning to write him a love letter, uh, my daughter told me everything. Claudio says, now you talk of a sheet of paper. I remember a pretty jest your daughter told us of. Uh, in fact, you know, well, now you mention a piece of paper. It reminds me of that nice little joke that your daughter told us. Leonardo says, oh, when she had writ it and was reading it over, she found Benedict and Beatrice between the sheet. 
So there's a little joke here. Oh, yeah. When she'd written this letter and was reading it over, it was as if she kept finding Benedict and Beatrice between the sheets. In other words, a joke on being in bed together, but really being on a piece of pa paper together. Claudio says that. Yeah, that's the one. And Leonardo says, oh, she tore the letter into a thousand halfpence, railed at herself that she should be so immodest to write to one she knew would flout her. I measure him, says she, by my own spirit, for I should flout him if he write to me, yea, though I love him, I should. So, in other words, Leonardo's saying she tears the letter into a thousand tiny pieces, gets really cross with herself for being so open in writing like that to somebody she knows is going to mock her for it. It's what I'd do, she says. I know that I would mock him if he wrote to me like that. Even if he loved me, I would. So really convincing performance here. And Claudio says, um, Then down upon her knees she falls, weeps, sobs, beats her heart, tears her hair, prays, curses. Oh, sweet Benedict, God give me patience. So really ramping up the kind of pantomime performance here, saying... Beatrice falls on her knees and cries and, and hits herself and pulls out her hair and, and prays and curses, Darling Benedict, give me patience. Leonardo says she doth indeed, my daughter says so, and the ecstasy hath so much overborne her that my daughter is sometime afeard she will do a desperate outrage to herself. It is very true. So in other words, Leonardo is saying that's exactly what Hero said she did. And Beatrice is sometimes so overcome with emotion that my daughter is worried she's going to harm herself, she's going to kill herself. That's the truth. Don Pedro says if it, it were good that Benedict knew of it by some other, if she will not discover it. In other words, well, look, somebody needs to tell Benedict this because Beatrice isn't going to confront him and tell him the truth. Somebody needs to tell him. And Claudio there, very manipulatively, says, to what end? He would make but a sport of it and torment the poor lady worse. In other words, well, how would that help? He'd just make a game of it and torment her and wind her up. Don Pedro says, and he should. It were an arms to hang him. She's an excellent sweet lady, and out of all suspicions, he is virtuous. In other words, well, if he did that, it would be a charitable act to hang him. She's a really good, sweet young lady, and definitely still a virgin. And Claudio says here, and she is exceeding wise. In other words, um, what he's saying is, you know, she's very clever. Don Pedro says, in everything but in loving Benedict. Well, yes, yeah, she is very clever, except for the fact that she loves Benedict. Leonardo says, Oh, my lord, wisdom and blood combating in so tender a body, we have ten proofs to one that blood hath the victory. I am sorry for her, as I have just cause, being her uncle and her guardian. And he's saying, Oh, my lord, when reason fights with passion in so young a body, ten to one passion will win. I am sorry for her, as I should be, being both her uncle and her guardian. Don Pedro says, I would she had bestowed this dotage on me. I would have daft her all other respects and made her half myself. I pray you tell Benedict of it and hear what he will say. So Don Pedro, you know, not really a lie here, because we know he did uh, ask Beatrice if she would marry him, says, I wish she felt that way about me. I'd just go for it and marry her. Um, just tell Benedict how she feels and see what he says. Leonardo says, were it good, think you? Or do you think that's a good idea? And Claudio says, Hero thinks, surely she will die. For she says she will die if he love her not, and she will die if she make her love known, and she will die if he woo her, rather than she will bait one breath of her accustomed crossness. In other words, Claudio is saying, you know, I think, uh, or Hero thinks, that Beatrice is going to die, because she'll die if he doesn't love her. She'd rather die than tell him she loves him. And if he tries to woo her, she'll die if she has to hold back on her usual insults. So, really comic scene. We'll carry it on in the next video.